Hi, I'm Laurie and welcome to your 45 minute upper body and core workout. What you're going to need today, dumbbells. Whatever you have, grab them. We have a lot of drop sets coming up, so I have a lot around. For reference, I have a pair of 25s, 15s, 10s, and then 5s just in case. You will also need a very light mini band, latex preferably. If you don't have this, don't worry about it. You can perform it without the mini band. You will also need a mat, something for hydration, and possibly a towel. Here's today's format. We have tri sets. We have three exercises at a time. Every exercise will be performed for 60 seconds. That is three minutes of total work. After that tri set is up, we have 15 seconds to recover before moving on. Every exercise is non-repeat. However, some are very, very similar because we are trying to fatigue the muscles. When we fatigue the muscles, that's when change happens. Now, most of the blocks are drop sets. So we'll start with the most challenging variation, drop the weight, change the exercise to make it more doable as fatigue sets in. However, the first two sets will progress as we are warming up. So go ahead, grab all your stuff and let's get to work. Go ahead and meet me in a prone position on your stomach. We begin with alternating swimmers. So place the head down onto the mat, reach opposite leg, opposite arm up, place head back down, and then other side. Keep your neck in a neutral position. This begins your workout. We progress the first two sets in three, two, and one, let's go. Next up are Superman. So both arms, both legs come up. Again, keep the neck neutral. Don't lead with the neck. In three, two, and one. Both arms come up, hold at the top, then bring it down. Next up, we just add on to this exercise. We have a Superman with a press. It's still body weight only. In three, two, and one, hold at the top. Arms come in, arms go long, bring it down. Now this is our warm up. We are doing it with body weight only. You will see this later on with a mini band around our wrist. So it does progress. Again, we're just warming up your back, warming up your delts, warming up the upper body. You may find that tucking the chin a little feels really good. So you may want to do that. And it is burning. It's a warm up, but it's burning. Stay with me. Last three, two, and one. Inchworms are next, so go ahead and meet me in a standing position. We'll walk it out to a high plank and then walk it in. We'll take this slow, we'll take this controlled. This still progresses. In three, two, and one. Bend the knees, start to walk it out. Find your high plank, core stays tight, and then walk it back in. Bring it all the way up. Walk it out. Core stays tight, shoulders over wrist, walk it in. 
Just remember, every exercise is time today. You and I never have to go at the same pace. Find a pace that is challenging but manageable for you. This is just our warm up, but it's burning. <laughs> Next up, we have a high to low plank. So hands to the forearms, you can do this off or on the knees. Hold that high plank in three, two, and one. Take it right forearm, left forearm, right hand, then left. Next time, go left, right, left, right. Option here is to release the knees. And by all means, feel free to bring it here. It is still very challenging. Try to keep your hips as level as possible so the hips will want to rotate open like this. Fight the urge, keep your core tight and keep those hips level to the ground. Up, we have a push up off the knees to on the knees. We'll say off the knees as we lower, on the knees as we drive up. Stay right here. Take it down for three, two, hold. Knees go down, press it off, knees come up. So slow it down for three, two, hold. Knees down, press up. Keep your elbows pointing back at about a 45 degree angle. Last three, two, and one. Next up, we have a chest press. We'll, we'll lie down, start with your heavier weights, have a lighter set around. I'm gonna go from 25s to 10s. Elbows in tight, neutral grip. Let's go, drive it up, control it down. Nobody's meant to be fighting alone. That's why I'm taking you home. I never felt something like this before, I know. Keep coming back for your time after time. Maybe I'm losing my mind, but I know I'll never leave you behind, no. Baby, I got you. When you feel like falling, I'll be there to prove, yeah. That baby, I got you. We have a chest fly next. This is gonna be a little bit more demanding. Our lever is lengthened. Drop the weight selection. I'm dropping it to tens in three, two, and one. Lighter set, palms go together. Now elbows slightly bent, but like we're going in for a hug. So try not to hinge from the elbows. This is going to increase the demand in the anterior delts. Chest, anterior delts, star of the show here. Next up, we're taking it to triceps. We have supine tricep extensions in three, two, 
and one, neutral grip. Bring the dumbbells to the side of the head, control it up. Now be really mindful, really careful as you bring those dumbbells down. Make sure you have control of the dumbbells. You always have control over your weight. If not, drop the weight selection. Big stretch along the triceps right here, then grab it up. Last three, two, and one. We're going to a pool exercise next. We got a hip hinge row. I'm gonna grab my 25s and then again, drop down to my 10s. Neutral grip, keep the core tight, drive the dumbbells towards the hip and then control it down. So think of driving it back then up. Up, we have a rear delt fly. I'm dropping it to tens. Drop the weight selection. Let's go. Whew, shake it out. Grab your weight. Neutral grip. Hip hinge position. Long lever. In 10 seconds, we have hammer curl. So it's a neutral grip bicep curl. We'll rep it out. In three, two, one. Upright position, rep it out. Core stays tight. Do not use those hips to get the dumbbells up. Last three, two, and one. Nice work, okay. Next up, we have a neutral grip shoulder press. I'm being ambitious. I'm gonna start with my 25s. I may need to drop it, so we don't know unless we try. So let's go ahead, get into position. Neutral grip, control tempo.
In 10 seconds, we drop the weight. We have Lou raises next. Last rep, three, two, and one. Drop the weight selection, supinated grip, Lou raises. You may also know these as around the world. down as you bring it up. So the tendency is want to bring those traps up by the ears. Just control it if needed. Drop the weight selection. That's why we have those fives or threes or water bottles around handy. Drop the weight if needed. This one is going to challenge you. 10 seconds and then we take it to a drop. Same weight, but we go to supinated grip, lateral raises. So only halfway up in three, two, one. Halfway up and lower. Last three, two, and one. Wow, set those dumbbells down. We have, the next block is on the left side only. So we're gonna use one weight. I'm grabbing a 25 to start with, 15 for my drop. We start with a single arm, semi-pronated row, split stance. So drive that elbow back at about a 45 degree angle. Use that offhand, you can support yourself with a chair. You can use something stable, or you can just place that elbow on your quad. Next up, we have a single arm upright row. This is where I drop. Go to a lighter weight selection in three, two, and one. Shake it out. Grab that lighter dumbbell. Upright row. Brace yourself with this off hand. Core stays tight. Don't let the weight shift to that side. Keep it stable. Equal weight in both feet. Core stays tight, good. Up, we have a clean to press so we're going to use the lower body to get this dumbbell above above the shoulder then we press it up let's go so bend the knees upright row flip the grip at the very last second use the legs drive it up again reset
Last rep, three, two, and one. We go to the other side. All on the right now, we got a match. Stagger stance, semi-pronated row. 45 degree angle as you take it back. Drop the weight, single arm, upright row, match what you did on the previous side. Let's go, wow, shake it out. Grab that weight, upright row. Now, if you find that you're getting a lot of traps here, like it's taking over and you wanna do that, try taking it in a slight circular path. And that should feel a little bit better, bias the delts a little bit more. is next we get to use lower body come on y'all we go in three two and one use the lower body flip the grip neutral use the lower body drive it up Last rep, last three, two, and one. Y'all, we get a longer break. This is our halfway point. y'all the next block i'm gonna start with 15s and then drop to 10s we have poliquin lateral raises so it's a hammer curl elbows out and then we're gonna take that eccentric really slow really controlled the second exercise i'm gonna make my drop in the weight selection as we go to four way raises and then we're gonna burn out your front delts okay so here we go get into position we have poliquin lateral raises in three two three two and one hammer curl Elbows out, extend, three, two, one.
we make the drop next, lighten the load. We have a four way raise in three, two, and one. Set those dumbbells down, grab a lighter set. It's out to the side, in front, back out, back down. So it's one, two, three, four. This is where that lighter set of dumbbells may come in handy. This one is very fatiguing on your shoulders, but a good fatigue. Again, the more mechanical tension we can apply to those muscles, that's where the change starts to happen in the muscles. So fight through it as long as your form stays on point. We have a front raise with a bus driver in three, two, one, neutral grip, bring it out in front, drive it left, drive it right, back down. Last three, two, and one. Wow. Okay, we go to our pool block next. And we're gonna start with a hip hinge pronated row. Elbows out to the side. I'm gonna go 25, so then drop to 10s. Let's go, elbows out to the side. Control it down. Next up, we have Y raises, make the drop to something lighter. We stay in this hip hinge position, make a Y with the arms in three, two, and one. Dumbbells down, drop it to something lighter. Hip hinge position, Y raises. Supinated curls are next. In three, two, and one, stand up right, rip it out.
Last three, two, and one. All right, we are almost done with those dumbbells, but done with dumbbells for upper body. Next up, body weight only tricep. We start with pike push-ups. So you're gonna meet me in a downward facing dog and it's like an inverted shoulder press. So bring those hips up and back. This is our starting position. I want you to look up at your hands, bend the elbows, hover the head, and then press it up. So this is, just think of this as a body weight shoulder press. Bend at the elbows, hover, bring it up. Now, if you find that this is too much, an option here, you can just bring it to a regular push-up on the knees. You could also just limit the range of motion. But over time, really work on a, really increasing the range of motion. Challenge yourself. Let the weight of the body come with you. Next up, we have a tricep push-up, elbows tucked in to a downward facing dog, a little stretch in between. Go ahead and meet me in that high plank, elbows tucked in, triceps, chest, delts, up and back. Get a nice little stretch right here. Bring it back, high plank, push up on or off the knees, hips go up and back. This is your resting point right here. If you need a few deep breaths, take it right here. Next up, we have a high plank shoulder tap. So meet me in that high plank. You can always drop it to the knees. In three, two, one, you can go ahead and give those wrists a shake. Any wrist issues, grab a set of dumbbells to bring it to a neutral position, or bring this towel underneath the palm. So I'm gonna do that on my right hand because <laughs> I did, I'm laughing to keep from crying. I am recovering from an injury, so I just gotta be mindful. Everything's feeling good for me though, so I'm gonna continue. As you tap those shoulders side to side, keep those hips, the hips will wanna sway side to side. If we let the hips sway, core's not turned on. Keep your core tight so we keep those hips from rotating. Option here, bring it to the knees. Last three, two, and one. Wow. Okay, final upper body block. Grab your band. We're doing that same block that we started out with, but we're, 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 we are reversing it. So start with that Superman to shoulder press, band around the wrist. Bring it up, in, out, down. Next up is just Superman's, but we're gonna change it to a neutral grip. In three, two, one, palms face each other, and bring it to that Superman. This is gonna burn out those shoulders. up and out, press into that band.
alternating swimmers are next. Palms will face down on our alternating swimmers. Take it slow, take it controlled. In three, two, and one. Last three, two, and one. Place that band around your laces. Wow, if you don't have a mini band, oh wow, it's still gonna be challenging. So if you don't have shoes on, you'll need to dorsiflex at the ankle. Now we have bicycles. So now it's on to abs. We have three more triceps, all on the core and the abs. No more plank positions. So don't worry, <laughs> don't worry. We're really gonna hone in on the muscles in your core. That transverse abdominal, the rectus abdominals, your internal, external obliques, and all of the other great ones are working too. Next up, we have dead bugs. So upper body will go flat on the mat. Control, really honing in on that transverse abdominal, opposite leg, opposite arm, goes back. Keep your entire back flat against the mat. So if you have a lot of spinal movement going on, you know, you could be feeling it in the back. So just press the entire back flat into the ground as you extend the arms overhead. Now, if your range of motion is limited, especially in the upper body, I don't want you to make up for it by moving the spine. All right, so if needed, just reduce the range of motion in the upper body. So if you're really tight up here, that's just something to work on. And a lot of us are tight up there due to our forward facing society. Things are burning. We're ending with reverse crunches. Keep tension on the band as we bring the knees in and out. In three, two, and one. You can support your pelvis with hands underneath the pelvis to help keep that back into the mat. Keep tension on the band. So press into the band. Exhale. Draw the knees in. So I really want you to feel that corset muscle, your transverse abdominal muscle. Get tighter as those knees come in. Last three, two, and one. Take that mini band off. Grab one light dumbbell. I am going to go with tens, but I may drop it to fives. You know, you never know. We're gonna start with V ups. My version of a V up. Everyone is gonna look different. So dumbbell goes here. Bring the leg straight and then down.
Next up, Russian twist. Then three, two, and one. Stay right here. And then we're gonna take it side to side. By all means, you can elevate the feet, but if you were to start to feel it more in your hip flexors, bring those feet down. Up here is going to feel more attainable than here because that's gonna challenge your resistance. We're using gravity and this weight as resistance. Ooh, with our anterior core muscles. Stay strong. We have about 15 more seconds and then we'll drop it to the mat. Final exercise of this tricep, straight leg raise to a dumbbell crunch. And three, two, and one. So bring the dumbbell up, legs go down, legs go up, reach towards the legs, back down. So it's lower, then upper, good. Lower, lower abdominals, upper abdominals, good. One way to modify any movement where our legs are straight is to bend the knees. So you can always just bend the knees on all the exercises where we have legs straight and that's gonna feel more attainable. And wow, I couldn't bring my legs back up. And one final tri set. We're hitting core. We're gonna start with that straight leg crunch. Grab the dumbbell behind the head. And we're gonna bring it all the way up and then down. All right, so let's go. Next up, we drop by bending the knees. Continue the same movement pattern. In three, two, one, bend at the knees. Same movement. Next up, we end with reverse crunches. Knees bent to knees straight. Let's go. Knees bent, legs straight. So you can grab that dumbbell behind you. That's one option. If you find that your back is moving a lot, then take your hands, release the dumbbell, take the hands, support your pelvis with the hands underneath.
final 10 seconds, and then we have a 15 second hold with legs extended, then we are done. Stay strong, hold it in three, two, ISO hold 15 seconds. Keep that core tight. Last three, two, and release. Wow. <laughs> We are done. The thoughts going through my mind are, wow, I hope this didn't cut off. I hope that got it all the way because there's no way I could do that again oh, for a couple days. Nice work. Let's go ahead and take it to a spinal twist. Oh, one side, then the other. It doesn't matter what side. I'll link some additional a dynamic stretch, static stretch work below. If you're interested in doing a little bit more dynamic work, working on increasing range of motion, so that'll be some great videos to incorporate into your regimen. Nice work today, y'all. That was challenging. My core is on fire. So let's go ahead when we can, roll it over onto your stomach. Okay. <laughs> and then a gentle press up, heart comes forward. We'll ease into this stretch. When you're ready, bring it to the hands, come all the way up. Stay here for a little bit, wiggle side to side, one hip down, then the other. And then hold one side, look over that shoulder towards that toe. And then when you're ready, take it to the other side. And let's bring it all the way down and we're gonna take it to some prone kickover. So this is really gonna open up your uh, chest into your delt and just take it side to side. So kick it over. And then when you're ready, take it to the other side. On the next side, we'll hold, so go ahead, take it over. But this time, if you'd like to take it a little bit farther, bend at that elbow and then take it back. You won't be able to go as far, but wow, this is a great stretch for your shoulders and your chest. If you were sitting for long periods of time, like driving, computer, babies, this is a great stretch to kind of counteract that rounding forward. Wow, okay, let's take it to the other side. Typically, we'll have one side that's a little tighter than the other, that's okay. Just work on evening it out over time. And when you're ready, press it all the way up. Come to a tabletop position. Let's do three rounds of cat-cow. Inhale, look up. Spine curls up, tailbone curls up, excuse me. As you exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. And do that twice more at your own pace. Come to a neutral tabletop position. Keep the hips stacked over the knees and walk the hands forward. When you can walk them no more, let the head rest on the mat for puppy pose. When you're ready, frame the face with both hands. Meet me in, there we go. Meet me in an uh, easy seat, whatever that feels like or looks like for you. Whatever position you wanna take, we're gonna grab the right tricep, take a little side then up and over. And then when you're ready, take it to the other side. And let's do that two more on each side. Set your own pace, little side bend, open up the shoulders, look up. And last round. Wow, okay, inhale up. As you exhale, open up the chest and the delts. Let's do that twice more. Inhale up, exhale open. Last round, inhale up and exhale open. Nice job today. Give yourself a pat on the back or dust off that shoulder. Nice work today. As long as you tried your best, that is what matters most. Your love and support means the world. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, tag me in your posts on IG at Laurie Midkiff, Facebook Fit by Laurie. Let me know what you would like to see in the comments. I've had a comment recently that said the 60 seconds, they're over it. So um, that's a really great way for a group 
brute class, do the timers, you know? But I will go back to some, to some reps pretty soon, but it's gonna be a rep range and everyone's pace is gonna be different. Everyone's gonna finish at different times. That's kind of the caveat or the downside possibly, possibly of uh, rep ranges. But I love rep ranges. Love to train like that. So you're gonna see some rep ranges here coming up. And yeah, let me know what you wanna see in the comments below, particularly like what kind of classes you like. You wanna see more cardio, stretching, TRX? Let me know, comment below. Again, just remember, as long as you tried your best, that is what matters most. Keep up the great work and have an amazing rest of the day. You rock.